Hello students. In this video, we are going to learn about the introduction of more circuit design styles. The course Digital VLC Design consists of six different chapters. So here in this video, we will be just learning what are the introduction or what are the topics that we will be covering in this unit one. The unit one is divided into two different modules, module one and module two. In module one, we will be learning what are the different MOS circuitry styles, in what way your MOS is uh, built off, which is static CMOS, dynamic CMOS, pseudo NMOS, domino logic, C square MOS, neuro logic, NP domino logic. These are different design styles. So we can make a simple inverter using any of these styles. The same way, any different circuitries can be made in using any of the design styles. And each different style will be having its own advantage as well as its disadvantages. So the module one, will be dealing about all these different design styles. And module two will be having, you would have already heard about these topics, which is multiplexer, encoder, decoder, latches, flip-flops, shift register, and the layouts that is most important of all these different circuits. So the chapters one, the chapter one has divided into two modules, module one and module two. And the next, what the module one deals with, module one deals with only different styles of CMOS. So we must know what actually is a CMOS. CMOS, of course, we will say CMOS is complementary metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. The CMOS will be consisting of both your NMOS device as well as your PMOS device. Is divided into NMOS and PMOS or NMOS and PMOS together will make a CMOS design step. So I said that static CMOS, dynamic CMOS that we are going to learn in this video in all the things we will be having both your NMOS as well as your PMOS. I'm saying NMOS, PMOS, but what is this NMOS and what is this PMOS? NMOS is nothing but it is an N channel device or a n type of material will be formed or will be there between your source and drain region. Now, what is the source and drain? MOSFET will be made up of four different terminals or you can say MOSFET is having four terminals. What are they? Source, drain and gate as well as your body. We say gate, drain, source, and the fourth terminal, which is the body terminal, will always be connected to your DC supply. For an NMOS, your fourth terminal, which is body terminal, will be connected to ground, whereas for a PMOS, it will be connected to the DC supply, which is VDD. Right? So now, I said this NMOS, which is N type of channel, will be there in MOSFET, and for a PMOS, P type of channel will be there in your MOSFET. Where the channel will be? Between your source and drain region. And my one more question here is before we move on, we must know whether your MOSFET is a voltage control device or a current control device. MOSFET is a voltage controlled current device. This is an important thing that you will be getting in university examination or your any gate examinations and so and so. Many other competitive examination will be asking the question whether your MOSFET is a voltage control device or a current control device. It is a voltage control device. The input is a gate terminal will be given with set of voltage and your output will be a current. The given voltage, the gate terminal will determine how much amount of current is going to pass through between your source and the drain region. Right? Now, with all this introduction, I'll move on to the important thing that you are seeing on your screen, which is zeros, ones, off, and on. What are these? You must never forget this. 
this digital VLSI. So we will be dealing with zeros and ones. What with voltages? One means positive five voltage, right? So for the N MOSFET, if I give zeros the input, my device will turn off. If I give one as the input, my device will turn on. And if it is a PMOS, to make a PMOS on, I must give zero as my input. Or to make my PMOS off, I have to give one as the input. So the thing that we must never forget, giving a zero, which will turn off NMOS, whereas it will turn on PMOS. In the same way, giving a one that will make NMOS to turn on and it will make PMOS to turn off. Right? So the next thing that you are going to see is the important terms. In this unit, you will learn PUN, PDN, and CMOS is equal to PUN, PDN. What is it? I already said CMOS is made up of NMOS and PMOS. Now I'm saying that CMOS is nothing but the collection of full up network and full down network. PUN stands for full up network and PDN stands for full down network. Now, what is this full down network? What is a network? Network is a collection of transistors, right? So these transistors are here we are using MOSFETs. So MOSFETs, there will be a collection of N type of MOSFETs will be there and these MOSFETs will be either collected in series or in parallel, right? In your PMOS or your pull-up devices or pull-up network, that network will be made only of P MOSFETs and that will be connected either in series or parallel. So the simple thing is CMOS device or if it is a CMOS circuit, you will definitely have both your pull-up network and your pull-down network and your pull up network will be made up of P MOSFETs and your pull down network will be made up of P MOSFETs and there will be various, it is not just one NMOS and not just one P MOS, there will be various MOSFETs of same type of material. It will be either NMOS or it will be P MOS. These transistors will be connected either in series or in parallel. Right? So, in short, I can say my hereafter I will be just saying that my CMOS will be made up of either full up network and full down network. Next. So, we are using a collection of networks that is full up network and full down network. And what is the function of these networks? That is most important, right? So, what is the function of full up network? See, usually in CMOS, we will be having both pull-up network, pull-down network, and this pull-up network, which will be on the top of the circuit, will be providing a connection between your output and your supply DVD, right? And pull-down network, which will be on the bottom, will provide a connection between your output and VCS. This pull up network and pull down network both are mutually exclusive. Means at, at a time, only one, one and only one network will be connected. If pull up network is on, your pull down network will be off. If pull down network is on, your pull up network is off. Because we will be feeding same type of input or same input to both the pull up network and pull down network that we must not work. If I'm giving two inputs to my pull up network and the same number of inputs and the same inputs must be given to my pull down network first. So same inputs will make one network to turn on and one more network to turn off. If suppose my pull up network is on, there will be a connection between your output and VDD. So what will happen? Your output will be equal to one because whatever voltage is there as it is a switch, it will just move on to your output and your output will turn into one. 
in the same way, whatever voltage is there, you suppose your cold network is on, whatever voltage is there in your output will be discharged towards ground as your cold network. There is a connection between your output and VSS, which is nothing but your ground. So your output will turn equal to zero. In other words, I can say if my output is one, you can simply say there exists a path between your PDD and output. If my output is zero, you can blindly say that there exists a path between your VSS and your output. So your pull-up network, pull-down network, ones, zeros, and it is put PMOS and it is NMOS, both together called as your CMOS circuit. So in the next video, we'll be learning about static CMOS and the various different design. Stats. Thank you.